Oh, bro, I'm about to see uh, I how much I get into it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. Huh? That symbol. What's that glow? <laughs> I don't see a glow. No. Golly. I'm over here into this shit. Where that dragon done bit them niggas out that fucking. Yeah. Yeah, it looked pretty good. So, did they get uh, sucked into the dragon or what? Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Mind your step. Where do you suppose your wife got the porky that brought us here? A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the Port Key. But I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, oh, there's the path down below. This way. But sir, why was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do, 
But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Shit, crazy. That was a yeah. bit rougher than I'd expected. Your one works improving with every cast. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Professor, it's a <coughs> mm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. What the hell am I supposed to, <coughs> supposed to do? Someone have conjured that enchanted stone here. 
And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again. Like the glow on the pole key container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Hello? Night, Pepsi. <laughs> you heard all that, bro, too? Sound really low, though. I guess you're talking off your controller. This way, then. Ain't no way you're talking on the headset. Stay close. Why do I hear you so low? I think I have the music too damn loud on this thing. That's a whole lot better. A whole lot better. <laughs> mm hmm. What'd you do? Get closer to the mic? What'd you do? Get closer to the mic? You lying. Oh my god. Ask him. That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experience the thief's downfall before, have you? Perfect. These are the love vaults that were passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after the was founded over four centuries ago. Reside in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in with quite a distance to go. Nah, shit, bro. You? Man, I, I need to buy some shit. Vault number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> okay. On your way. It'll do. It'll do. Professor, the old that God was wearing was glowing. Show me how your guy looks, bro. Show me how your character looks. For real? Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering it's, about oh, that. Started, I didn't get dreads, but... He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Here we are. I didn't, bro. Was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. 
Yeah. For real? That's Car Weir on his eye too? On his eye, bro? Until today. Oh. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I have access to the whole door of the key and then close the door. Uh, like on my face. I don't know if you can see it, but... But look, bro. Professor? Your boy up in the air. Find wherever the fuck he wants to. There, there's a castle in here. But check this shit out. Oh, let me go down. Mm -hmm. And you go all the way down here. No time like the present. Ooh, and I bet you they're gonna probably do some DLCs for this bitch too. And focus. Oh shit. Okay. What the hell am I supposed to do? What? Steady your wand with ill and guide it along the symbol's path to learn spell. Press the cross on you. Oh shit. Ah, oh, okay. Rebellion. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to... I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Lumos! This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Rebellion. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. Yeah. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Mm -hmm. Lumos. What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the fool to change. <coughs> that statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now 
now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. No shit. Oh, these motherfucking dragons, these fucking things killed me, bro. I mean, not the dragons, the statues. What's up? Damn, these niggas kill me again, bro. What the hell? 
is normal. the hell can I pass this? I think I finally, finally beat these assholes. Magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow. Don't tell me how to fight these dudes again. Rebellion. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Oh man. Lumos.
Damn, these assholes beat me. Shit. <laughs> Probably, bro. Hold triangle during tango just to enemies. Okay. Finally beat these assholes. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Pro viejitas. <laughs> That is a pensive for viewing memories. <laughs> Damn right. <laughs> Follow my lead.
All is in place. The poor key is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. <coughs> That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never... Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were all looked rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in here. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Ragum's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that... The instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did not I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well... Perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. What are you playing? You still playing it? I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed. Mm, I hear oh, something. I don't know what it is. Magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to.
So I'm guessing I'm at my castle now. Oh, good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and you warned of Ranlock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm. I wonder... Hmm. I detect something in you. A certain sense of... Hmm. What is it? Is it ambition? I may seem single-minded, but it is important to go after what you want from life. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition, an eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. What a Slytherin. Is that what you're in? That's what they're moving me to. Yes, yeah, is that except house. You belong in Slytherin. Oh, okay. Uh, 
Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you all have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm... Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Aspiration. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. <gasps> I suppose some introductions are in order. Can I help you? Oh, you're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sala. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figgs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough, but not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Rebellion. I wouldn't do that if I were you. What 
Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. <gasps> Told you. You should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin, the one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day, taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills in a broom are legendary. We handled it. And I think you're underestimating the nature of a dragon. A broom would have been kindling. <laughs> <laughs> Not the way I fly. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Are you a keen wizard chess fan? You knew that boy was going to lose the match. Not really. Much too sedate a pastime for me. Also, it's simply not that challenging. The moves are always so obvious. Why does no one else see it? Goodbye, Imelda. Nice meeting you. Mermaids find us that Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. <coughs> well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> you're definitely in the right house. Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here. Though I doubt you'll need it. Were you expecting to be sorted into Slytherin? Most certainly. My family on my father's side are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Not something I'm especially proud of, mind you. He was obsessed with blood status, a pure blood maniac. Unfortunately, most of his descendants do not fall far from that tree. Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along, though. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Rebellion. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, We've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. Here you are.
What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. This way. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Revelio. Lumos. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic. Huh? And educate yourself about visiting the Lord. Yeah, yeah. Do keep up. It was I. Oh. Halftime was alright too. Why don't you cast Revelio on that Revelio. and see what details the field guide can huh? provide? <laughs> oh, the field guide. How the fuck I do that? What the hell do I do now? I'm fucking stuck. Oh, there it goes. Damn, you can hear those assholes? Stay at home all day or what? Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rebellion. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. What happened? You can get almost anywhere in the car. Muffin is howling. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. I bet he done got out of the damn cage. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Yeah, I don't know. That was Can you tell me more about the Defense Against the Dark Arts class? Yeah, they got their eyes open, but I don't know if they can see you know what I'm saying. I'm about to see if this nigga got out of his cage. Sure fucking did walking around everywhere. A mastering of defense against the dark arts 
is recorded for those who aspire to become nervous. Fortunately, we are That's why he was howling he was over there in the damn other restroom. You know, fuckers are getting big, bro. Oh, shit. Hell yeah. What did I learn in charms class? Exactly what you might expect. Spells, charms, jinxes. All terribly useful. I think you will enjoy Professor Ronan. He's a clever and entertaining wizard. And a talented teacher. You mentioned Hogsmeade, Professor. Hogsmeade is the only all-wizarding village in Britain and is home to an array of shops and pubs. You should be able to find all of the school supplies you require in Hogsmeade. You will also, I imagine, enjoy many a butterbeer there with friends in due course. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. <coughs> Judging by your adept use of reveal earlier, <coughs> I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. I'm sorry, Professor, but I'm afraid that's all there is to it. Hmm. Almost precisely what Professor Fig said. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you masterfully evade Professor Weasley's interrogation regarding huh? our late arrival? Ah, uh, pretty good. I did my best, but I'm fairly certain she suspects that we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another <coughs> not so subtle proof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look.
hell does he want me to do? The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. <coughs> Revelio. So when you started playing, uh, when I was watching it, you're barely into it or what? Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces in your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today, we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable <coughs> is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now. Let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Levioso! Now, let's try something a little larger. Let us begin with a basic cast. deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprise opponent is a good opponent. So, now, the ah. basic cast. Well done. I see now. I see how to do this now. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. Yeah. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel, using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. Levioso. This should be easy. Protego. Protego. Complicates things. What are you doing up there? Levy, this can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a quick learner. Only all the nice students with us again. I do enjoy a lively duel. Levy, try to anticipate your opponent's next move. 
Use the base cost when your opponent's guard is down. Here comes. Grenade. How perceptive. Thank you. Watch your opponent for signs to attack or defend yourself. Let me Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh. That's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. You drilled Sebastian. He's strong competition. Well done. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone had been talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Unsanctioned? I don't know. School rules are in place for a reason. Yes, to keep students in the dark. So many things we're deemed unprepared to know. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club, or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck, or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Huh. Always thought Levioso was for first years. Not anymore. Revelio. What are you up to now? The more I play it, the more I'm learning shit. Yeah, the easier I'm figuring it out how to use my shit. This don't have online mode?
Yeah. Handy resource indeed, your Professor Ronan tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him. <coughs> here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <clears throat> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to Year 5 of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work. But I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such <coughs> a challenge. Right now, everyone, please <coughs> open your textbooks to page 517. But huh? before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing oblivion on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. learner I see a lot of potential but remember potential is nothing without practice keep at it you might just rival miss on I here very good everyone that's enough of that well as you all seem to have the basics down and it is an exceptionally lovely day I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air after me Don't your ass got work tomorrow? Motherfucker, it's three o'clock in the morning. I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with master, huh? as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> crazy. So, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> huh? I can't hear your ass. <laughs> so why don't we have our new oh. students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Akio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charge. Akio, last possible. Split now. Stay focused. Excellent, good. 
Not to worry. Very good. Points to Slytherin. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Oh shit. Stay <laughs> focused. Nah, I gotta roll these balls. I don't know how to stop them like that. That is how it's done. Oh shit. Oh, okay. Bitch fell off. <laughs> Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. What's this? Too much. Happens to the best of us. of you. Well done. Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. It took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course. A word, if you would. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, 
An outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Rebellion. Hello, you wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day's going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, excuse, Deke. Ah, there you are. <coughs> I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Roman. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit before you arrived. I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me, isn't there? Nothing more, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. I'm not sure I have time for extra assignments, Professor. You shall find the time. You'd be astonished to know just how much you don't know. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign you a first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. 
You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather so. unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, <laughs> including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Rebellion. Rebellion. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do. And an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up. Makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Huh. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you out of your peace. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Revelio. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. What's up? <coughs> right now, bro, I'm doing these fucking tasks and <coughs> learning the spills and finding shit around here. She wants me to do. <coughs> 
Rebellion. Did you already find all these fucking little papers in here and shit? Yeah, I mean, it never told me to look for them, but it, I'm only just finding them and shit. Yeah, this paper's fucking flying in the air and shit. How the hell did I get that one? Oh. Oh, ha, ha, ha. smart son of a bitch. Revelio. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. If I have the time, I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Rebellion. Do come and find me if you stumble on something illuminating that solves the mystery. When someone says something nice to you, it's only because they want something. Everyone knows your garlic's favorite. That's absurd. I don't think she even knows I'm there. She always gives you higher marks than me. Well, perhaps because I work harder. The Mandrix is me. Accio. Lumos. That spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Far more knowledge of Devil's Snare. Yeah. Yes, and I believe... <coughs> This looks like the location from the painting. What could be so special about it? Oh, you did it, bro. But. You can't imagine how inconvenient that was Lumos. Rebellion. Levioso Accio Revelio Levioso Accio Lumos Let's get you back to your frame, little moth. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was 
so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Matty's good at that too. So is Amit, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. The moth! I should have seen that. Revelio. Lumos. Revelio. 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 Lumos. Akio. Revelio. Akio. Revelio. Some of us are tidy as Off on another adventure, are we? I bet Black will tell a few tales about his days at Hogwarts oh. when he was a student. I don't think I'm ready for this just yet. Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio.
Revelio. Revelio. Lumos. Accio. Levioso. Rebellion. Revelio. Mm, one down a tree. Revelio.
Rebellion. 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 Revelio. Rebellion. Rebellion. Love you. Rebellion. Dear, I shall get in trouble for this. Is everything all right? Oh, hello. Thank you for asking. I'm Cressida, by the way. And I'm afraid everything's not all right. We may be in a spot of trouble with the librarian. You see, I'm fond of creating my own charms. 
thought I'd perfected my light as a feather charm to use on my library books. My arms get so tired carrying them around all day. But I must have confused the Latin word for feather with bird in my incantation, because when I opened my bag just now in the library, they literally took flight. That sounds brilliant, actually. Thank you. Somehow I don't think the librarian will see it that way. I collect the books and remove the charm myself, except this isn't the first time one of my charms has threatened a piece of the library. Our meat told Madam Scribner they were my books flying around, so she said that if I caused her any more trouble, she'd write to my parents. Perhaps you could get them for me. There are only five. She won't be suspicious of a new student looking around. I suppose I could help, if I have the time. Oh, I'd very much appreciate it. One of the books is my diary. I'd rather it not fall into the wrong hands. If you could collect them and bring them to me, I can remove the charm. I'm going to have to use Akio to get to those books. Four more to go. Revelio. I've always said that travel broadens the mind. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. The library is somewhere. That you were going. Protego. Revelio. Revelio. Lumos.
Rebellion. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. This must be Cressida's diary. I'd want this back too if I were her. Rebellion. Rebellion. Lumos. Revelio. That's the last book. Now to take them back to Cressida. Hello, Cressida. I collected your books, including your diary. Oh, what a relief. Thank you. I'll happily take the heavy lot off your hands now. Unless you want your classmates to know how you really feel about them, he might reward you. Oh, you're not at all who I thought you to be. And you're not who I thought you to be. Based upon your diary, you seem terribly judgmental. Fine. I shall pay you. But you cannot begin to imagine what I shall be writing about you next. Should never have trusted them.
Rebellion. Lumos. <coughs> <coughs> Lumos. Is it down or was it up? I don't even remember. Revelio. Lumos. Damn, did I lose a butterfly? Oh dear, what? What are you up to now?
that's where I got the damn butterfly from. Was Albert Boot? No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flat. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack. Was the Minister of Boot or the Minister of Flat? Stop it, Peeves! You'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't get Peeves a smash. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough! You'll get us all's attention. Oh, and you're both wrong. Revelio. Anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't Boots and it wasn't Flack. But you're all in trouble with Professor Black. Zero three and two zero triangle. Rebellion. Rumor has it there's a secret passage leading to Hopkins. Rebellion. Don't remember where that butterfly went.
Revelio. Lumos. Huh. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Flying page must be around here. If only a new student would help me with my sad predicament. Damn, you, man. Where did you go, butterfly? I lost the dang thing. Huh? There it goes. Everyone hates you. Why? Because Hogwarts is full of bullies and spoil sports. Leander Pruitt's one of the worst, that no talent moon mind. I wanted to make some new friends, and so I brought my collection down to the common room. My gobstone collection, that is. I was hoping someone would want to play. Are you familiar with gobstones? Little balls, like marbles. Grand game. And if you lose, they spray you with a foul smelling liquid. 
Gobstones? Sounds like a fun challenge. That's what I tried to tell everyone. <sighs> People can be so cruel. Just because they're sprayed all over with smelly gobstone spit, it's their own fault for losing. Imelda is one of the worst losers. Everett and Story are terrible as well. And now those poor losers have taken my gobstones and hidden them in very high places all over the school. Rather an overreaction on their part. I'll say. Anyway, I can't work out how to get them back on my own. I don't think I know the necessary spells yet. I need someone, perhaps a selfless and talented fifth year, to help me. Haven't you any friends at school? Not really. Natty said hello once, but not a word since. Do you have any suggestions on how to get your gobstones down from their hiding spots? If I knew that, I'd get them myself. Whoever hid my gobstones that high got up there somehow. I'll see what I can do. I'd appreciate the help. If you do find all of my gobstones, do come and see me again. I'll be back to playing Snake Pit and Jackstone by myself in no time. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. This is the right area. Got it. Revelio. One of Zenobia's gobstones. I hardly see what all the fuss is about. Revelio. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones. Rebellion. I'd better keep an eye on high places around the school for Zenobia's gobstones.
Revelio. Rebellion. Revelio. Another damn door. Rebellio.